y'all welcome back to my channel it's your girl trish so i wanted to bring you guys this cute flirty matte look i've been into the matte looks lately so i wanted to bring you guys another matte look and i just you know i went in with a little bit of uh glitter in the in, in the inner tier to keep the lips cute and simple um yeah i'm really feeling myself with this look y'all this look came out super 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 cute i really like it and i hope you guys like it too so per usual don't forget to subscribe to my channel don't forget to like and comment and i will see you guys in my next video Mwah. okay y'all so the first palette i am starting off with is this dark brown shade from the morphe 39a palette called mass and that's going to be my first shade that i'm going to be putting in my crease All right, now I'm taking this shade called Sculpt, and I'm going to use that to blend out that brown shade that I just put down. Going back into that palette, I'm going to be taking this shade called Expression, and I'm going to put that in my crease to darken that up, but I'm putting it right, kind of like right below that first shade so that you can still see that first shade peeping through, if that makes sense. Now I'm going using the black out of that palette. It is called Muse. I'm just going to put that on the outer, like outer V of my eye. Going to the Morphe 25C palette, I'm going to be taking this light uh, tan shade called Creamer and I'm just going to put that all over my lid. I went ahead and carved out my, did my cut crease off camera just because you guys see me cut my crease all the time. I used the, uh, the LA Girl Pro Concealer in the shade, I think it's the shade Fawn. Yeah, that's the shade that I used to cut my crease. Now I'm taking my Wet n Wild Mega Last Matte Liquid Eyeliner and I'm going to do my eyeliner. Now I'm not doing an extended eyeliner. I'm going to stop at the end of my cut crease if that makes sense. So I'm not extending it out. I'm stopping at a certain point because I'm going to fade it into that black that I put down. I don't know if that makes sense but y'all going to see what I mean. So showing you guys again on the other eye I'm just extending it out to the to the end where my cut crease ends I'm not extending it all the way out now I'm just taking that same black that I use and I'm using that to blend in the eyeliner and the black shade towards the outer V of my, my eyeshadow or my eye I'm sorry and what it's doing is making like the eyeliner seamless so you can't see where the um where that that liner stops now i'm taking this other shade from the 39a palette and it's called bear i'm using that to highlight my brow bone i wanted something matte didn't want nothing shimmery now i'm just taking this small blending brush and i'm taking this the same uh transition shade that i use and i'm just blending that out so that it is so that it is uh seamless now, I already went ahead and did my base off camera. For my base, I went ahead and just used the Morphe Fluidy Foundation and the concealer as well because I wanted to use something else other than my two net, my two usual shades. Now, I'm taking this glitter from um, Cutie Pop Glitzy Cosmetics and it's silver. Like I've mentioned before in my previous video that they don't have any names. She doesn't have any names for her glitter, so I'm just put, I'm popping that in my inner tear duct. And the glue that I'm using is the dual lash glue adhesive. You know, you know, I wanted a little bit of shine, a little bit of bedazzle in my inner tear duct. So that's the look that I was going for. Now 
Now I'm taking my e.l.f. blush quad and I'm taking the darkest orange color in that palette and I'm going to be using that as my blush today for this look. Now I'm just taking my contour shade from the Juvia's Place Nubian 2 palette and I'm just going to contour my nose. Now I'm just taking this e.l.f. Uh, gel liner and I'm just going to put that in my um, waterline. And now I'm just taking this mascara. Aww. Now I'm just taking this mascara from Wet n Wild and I'm putting that on my lower lash line. Now I'm just spraying my face with my Wet n Wild setting spray and I'm gonna let that kind of sit in for a little bit before I go in with my highlighter. And the highlight I'm using is from Artist Couture. It's one of my favorite, favorite, favorite highlighters. It's called Sugar Daddy. And I'm going to um, put that on my highlight, like the places that I usually highlight on my face. And I love, love, love this highlight. It, kinda, it just kind of melts into my skin. It's not too gold. It's not too cool tone. It just it just goes with my, my skin so well. Like, I've, I've been having this shade forever and, you know been my one of my favorite highlighters for a long time yes yeah, <laughs> now I'm taking my NYX uh, soy lip liner in the shade uh, the color downtown beauty and I'm just outlining my lips with that Now for my lip color, I am taking this color from Colored Rain, and this is the liquid lipstick in the color um, Sugar. It's like a light nude color. And that is it for this look, you guys. I really hope you guys like enjoyed this look. I hope you guys like the look because I really had fun creating this look. You know, it was cute and neutral and mad. That's what I've been feeling lately. So I hope you guys, I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please do not leave this uh, video without subscribing, commenting, and liking. And I'll see you guys in my next video.